Hello, I am Yuri Dekovny, Solutions Architect with AWS. Today I will show you how to use AWS IAM Access Analyzer to quickly identify your AWS S3 buckets shared with external entities. External entities can be other AWS accounts, IAM users or roles, federated users or anything that you can use to create a condition in your access policy. For example, IP addresses or VPC IDs. IAM Access Analyzer is one important tool in your journey towards least privilege access model. It helps identify which resources in your AWS accounts are shared externally and reduces the security risk associated with unintentional misconfiguration. IAM Access Analyzer supports multiple AWS resource types and is available to all customers for no additional cost. For the purpose of this demo, I'll focus on Access Analyzer findings for S3 bucket policy. Let's take a look at the AWS IAM Administrator experience, enabling and using AWS IAM Access Analyzer. First, I am going to the AWS IAM console and create Analyzer. IAM Access Analyzer is per account regional feature, so you need to enable it on each AWS account and each AWS region you've opted in for. When I create an Access Analyzer, I need to determine which boundary to use for the Zone of Trust. If I choose an account Zone of Trust, Access Analyzer will look for the resources shared with entities outside of my account. Analyzer created with an organization boundary will only consider access outside of my organization as an external access. I would choose Organization Zone of Trust if I am creating the Analyzer in the AWS Organization's Master Account or a Delegated Organization Member Account. For an individual account, I am choosing an Account Zone of Trust. Right after I created an Analyzer, it starts identifying resources on my account, which are shared with external entities by using logic-based reasoning to analyze the IAM policies in my AWS account. Access Analyzer doesn't look into the log files, but rather translates IAM policy into equivalent logical statements and runs a suite of general purpose and specialized logical solvers satisfiability modular theories against the problem. Access Analyzer monitors your resource policies for changes and runs within 30 minutes of any change to a resource policy for a supported resource. You can see that Access Analyzer is immediately showing findings in the console. Let's look closer at one of the findings. In this finding, we can see that the specific S3 bucket on my account can be accessed by any principal from the specific IP address range. Let's quickly check if there are any other findings for this S3 bucket. I'll filter my findings using resource filter and I see that there are two findings for my bucket. You can prioritize the findings based on your organization security and governance policies but in this demo, I'll start from the finding with the right access type. To analyze the details of the finding, I'll click on the finding ID. You can see here we have the link to the resource in question, details about the access policy, as well as the status of the finding. You can see that this finding has a policy condition for the source VPC, so this bucket can be accessed from this specific VPC. This information is very helpful to analyze if this access was intended or not. If I identify that this access was defined intentionally, I can simply archive the finding. If not, I'll go to the S3 console from here and will be redirected to the specific bucket and will go to the permissions tab. I'll look at the bucket policy and I see the statement here that allows access from the specific VPC. For the purpose of this demo, I'll apply a quick fix to the policy using explicit deny, although in the reality you'll need to evaluate and to update the policy according to your business requirements. It may take up to 20 minutes for Access Analyzer to reevaluate the finding automatically, but now I'll just click Rescan the finding. You can see that after Access Analyzer completed evaluation, my finding status changed to Resolved, and we can find it in the Resolved Findings tab. Access Analyzer will delete the Resolved Findings if they didn't have any updates for a period of 90 days. Now, I'll go back to the first finding, 
and assume this axis was defined intentionally. I will simply archive this finding. Now I can see it in the Archived Findings tab, and I quickly double check that there are no active findings left for this specific S3 bucket. You've just seen how to enable and to use IAM Access Analyzer from the IAM console. Alternatively, S3 administrators can use Access Analyzer for S3 from the Amazon S3 console. Let's take a look at the S3 administrator experience in this case. I am going to the S3 console and click on Access Analyzer for S3. The first thing you can see, I can manage public access to all of my buckets here. If I had public buckets on this account, I'll be able to block public access with one click. Next, I can see here my S3 buckets with an external access. The bucket that has at least one active access analyzer finding shown as active. The S3 bucket for which I previously archived a finding from the IAM console shown as archived. The bucket with no external access or with all findings being resolved will disappear from the external access table. As a S3 administrator, I can immediately see that I have another S3 bucket that's shared with an external entity via the bucket policy. To view the detailed finding, I can select the bucket and click on View Findings. This will take me to the IAM Console Access Analyzer Active Findings with the filter for my S3 bucket already applied. I assume now that this access was provisioned intentionally and will archive this finding. I'll go back to the S3 console and see that this finding appears as archived. You can also manage findings here from the S3 console, but if you need more information about specific finding, you can go to the IAM console quickly to look at the findings details. You've just seen how easy it is to enable and to use AWS IAM Access Analyzer to find your shared S3 buckets and to mitigate the risk associated with an access granted unintentionally. There are other AWS tools and features that you can use in your journey towards least privilege access. For example, you can take a look at how to tighten your AWS IAM permissions using AWS IAM Action Last Access Details. This AWS IAM feature enables you to identify and remove unused permissions with confidence. Today, Action Last Access information is also available for Amazon S3 management actions. Thank you for watching. It was Yuri Dekovny with AWS Solutions Architecture.